What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your man, Melvin Taylor Jr., and I'm here with my buddy, Cameras. Special episode of Making Manhattan. You do not want to miss this. It's a very fun interview. You're going to learn a lot about this brother right here. <laughs> You were also on Luke Cage and Star. Tell me, what were those experiences Ooh, like? Yes, the black chairs. All right. Yeah, there we, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so uh, Luke Cage was, it was surreal, man. Luke Cage was my first TV show. And as soon as I heard that it was coming out, I told everyone, I was like, look, I'm going to find a way on this show. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know what it is. Something's telling me I'm going to be on this TV show. I, I have to find a way in. I have to find a way in. So I would tell my agent all the time, like, hey, get me in. Find a, find a, do something. Get me in. Anything. Yeah. And I went in for this role. And the one that I went in for, I thought, have you seen Luke Cage? Mm -hmm. There was a scene with, like, a basketball player. I mean, a, a couple basketball players. Uh -huh. I went in for someone in that scene. I can't really remember. And I, I, they booked me in this other scene instead to play, like, someone younger and in the barbershop. Yeah. Man, I wanted that set. I was on set for six days, even though I only had the one line. Mm -hmm. I was on set for a full week. Frankie Faison is my homie now. Yeah. Mike Coulter is hilarious. Mahershala is he really? Lee is a genius. It's just like, it was crazy. And like, everyone's black. Yes. All these yes. black people yes. around me, and they're all so good. Right. But Mahershala, though. Can you talk about Mahershala for a second? We can go ahead. I was going to say, I'm still kind of hurt that they like did my mans like that. I was like, yo, yeah. he was the best villain. Look, man. How do you do he something was like that? the best villain. Anyone on set, you know that laugh that he would do? Yeah. When you did that on set, like, I'd, I'd have shivers straight up. Ooh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dude, like I kept watching Mahershala Ali eat a sandwich for nine hours straight. He's like he's like a like a young male Meryl Streep that's black. Like when you like see him walk, he just like floats. And it's like, hey Mahershala, he's like, hey man. He's like, oh. <laughs> he's like hey. <laughs> he's so cool, man. And Mike Coulter just makes fun of everyone. He's yeah. so funny. Really? Oh yeah. Then he's like hilarious. He like he'll if you say hey to him, he's like, What's up? Joke. Quick. Wow. Yeah, he's like, he makes everyone laugh all day. And then Frankie Faison, like, plays with him. Mm -hmm. But my coach was like, nope. <laughs> he's like, not, not even. <laughs> yeah, but Frankie's dope. Me and Frankie, like, text each other Merry Christmas and stuff. Oh, that's what's up, man. Yeah, man. And so uh, they brought me back for a scene in season two of Luke Cage. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, which was cool. So I got to um, see Mike again, which was really cool. And, you know, I just shot that at the end of 2015. So I was surprised he even remembered me. It was two years ago. And he was like, hey, you were the barbershop kid. What's up, man? <laughs> like, oh, that's oh, dope. Yeah, was that was like, cool. yeah, that was me. That yeah. Was me. And then Star was, Star low-key was one of my favorite sets so far. Really? It was. What made it so? I don't know what it is. It's just like I was there and everyone just felt like family automatically. Every, can you imagine like being on a set and everyone is singing gospel music? They're just like singing man. gospel songs. Everybody. Everyone in the makeup trade was black. Then the whole cast, like the most of the main cast is black. Um, I have this funny story actually. So I was shooting my episode, and I was shooting with Ryan and and, uh, and the two other leads, Brittany and Jude, and <laughs> had this scene with Paris Jackson. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know Paris Jackson was Michael Jackson's daughter. I had no idea. Oh, I had no idea. Uh, absolutely no idea. So I was like talking to Ryan because me and Ryan are homies now. We mess each other all the time. Ryan yeah. is one of my favorite people. She's so sweet. Okay. So we're chatting, like you know, we're we're vibing. Everything's cool and. And the director added me to the scene. I didn't even know I was going to be in the scene. Right. The director was really nice, and he added me to one little thingy, and then he added me to this little part with Paris, and I had like a, this quick little line thing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, Paris Jackson was there, and she like rode up, and she was on a crutch at the time, I think. And she just seemed like some other chill actress. So I was like, hey, what's up? I'm Cameras. And she was like, hey. We like kind of talked. And yeah. I'm like, cool. I'm going to go back to talking to, to Ryan now, because she's dope. And then later on, <laughs> my publicist saw the episode. He was like, dude, you in a scene with Paris Jackson? I was like, who? Oh, oh, Paris. Yeah, she was cool. Yeah, Paris was all right. Yeah, she was cool, yeah. She called me and he was like, so you're telling me that you were in a scene with Michael Jackson's daughter and uh, Come on, you dog. watched her kiss another woman? Take after take and you had no idea who it was. And it's like through the phone. I just threw it, screamed a little oh bit. Oh my God. 